In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at how to spotlight a person in motion in a video. You could apply the same techniques to anything in motion or even something that's still. How do you turn a spotlight on and follow something? This comes as a request from one of my subscribers, and so we're going to look at one way to apply that technique in Premiere Elements. What we're going to do is move to the effects part of our toolbar on the right side, click on it, and then we'll move to the advanced adjustments section, take the lighting effects, drag and drop it on the clip that we've put in track number one. And immediately you see a spotlight appear. Under the lighting effects, we have actually five different lights. We're only going to use one in this illustration but we want to change the shape of it and we want to keyframe it so it can follow the girl's face. In order to turn on our keyframing controls, we click on the little clock to the left of the word fix and that will show my keyframes. I want to start with my time indicator far on the left side. The first thing we're going to do is adjust the shape of the light. Uh, I'm going to click on light number one and the default is a spotlight. What I want to do is change that to something more round. So we're going to change the major radius and drag that back. And now it's something much more round. Something like that. Now we want to follow her with that. Let me make it even smaller. Let me go down to maybe a 7. Now I can move the location of that light by dragging across the numbers on center. I can do it horizontally by dragging across the left numbers with the dots, or I can go vertically by dragging to the left across the other set of numbers. But there's a faster and easier way to do that. That's to click on lighting effects at the top. And when I do that, you notice on the left screen, on the preview screen, you have a circle and it has a, uh, an X in the middle and then it has four uh, squares to help you position and resize it. We're going to turn back on our other effects, but when I hover the mouse over the middle, I see a light bulb with a number one. So we're going to take that and move that to the upper part of her body and highlight her there. Now if I want it a little bit smaller, and I think I do, we'll just make it a little smaller like this. And now I have it a little smaller. Maybe I'll, I'll Go ahead and just type a number in. I think I'm going to type in just five. And that's a good size. Now I need to set a keyframe at the beginning of my clip. Keyframes, remember, are basically values set in time. So when we start out, this is the position and all the other features. To do that, I click on the stopwatch to the right of lighting effects, and it will set a keyframe value for everything I have here related to all my lighting effects. So they're all locked in at that frame, that moment in time, if you will. Now we're going to move a little bit to the right, a handful of frames. And I, I see she moves, so the light needs to move. So with my playhead in a different location, I can take the mouse, hold it down on the center when it turns to a light bulb, and adjust the, the location of the spotlight to match her face. The minute I do that, it will set a keyframe on the center value of my light. If I move a little more to the right, I can repeat the process. And if you want to expand the uh, detail of your frames, you simply move the slider at the top. And that gives you actually more precision on how far you move it and then you match the location with the light. I will pause the video and we'll do several more of these. On this particular keyframe, she's a little closer to the camera, so I might want the light to be larger. If I do, I can change the major and minor radius values on the slider, or I can click on any one of the four squares right by the blue circle. They will turn it to an elliptical, but I can match it visually here and 
make it equal so they're a circle. So you can both move the location or center of your light or you can increase the size of your light either by using the sliders or the mouse. You notice now we have two more keyframes set here to make the light slightly larger at this point. And so if I move a little bit to the right and I decide I want it closer to what it was before, I can all I need to do is move the keyframes back in a little bit, make sure I'm still working at a shape that's more circular than elliptical, and then I can move the light or that next keyframe anywhere I want. Now there's going to come a point in this particular video, if we move along, where I want the light to disappear. So how do I turn off the light? That's one question that you might have. Let's assume this is the frame where we're going to turn it off because the camera goes below her chin. I'm going to take the light for one last time and move it up here to her face. And then I'll move over a little bit. I'm going Here I'm going to magnify it. So we're basically just one frame away. And then I'm going to change the major radius and minor radius to zero. And if I change the major, the minor will go down. That basically makes my light disappear. So between this frame here and this frame here, the light basically goes out. So what I'd like to do is render the project and show you what it looks like. We did not do keyframing as extensively as we would for a finished project, but you get to see in the somewhat rough form what this looks like. So we'll play the video now. One thing I failed to mention was that if you want to change the difference between the spotlight and the rest of the video in terms of lighting, you can take this ambience intensity value, go back to the very beginning of your clip, and if you move it to the right, you'll find that the rest of the video becomes a little bit lighter. You don't want it so light that you no longer see the spotlight. But as you increase the value of this item here, ambient intensity, you're going to see the rest of the video lighten up quite a bit and become more natural. So if you don't want to darken the rest of the video too much, but still want a spotlight, this is where you control that variant between the scene around the spotlight and the spotlight itself.